You're watching The View. View. The G View. G View TV. Entertainment for you. Interviews, previews, and reviews. We have one of our singing station guests inside the building tonight. G View TV passing through. He stems from a family line of singers, talented singers, big singers that you know, and he's here with us tonight on GVU TV. Len Hammond. Blessed man, blessed man. Blessed, good, blessed, night, blessed. good night, good well, night. Go on. They are not promote some good music, take you for life, and some more good music, and you know, enjoy the moment. Lovely viewers on the outside, Len Hammond. The last name should ring a bell to you and, and, and the bloodline he's coming from. And that bloodline is? Hextal, Hextal, Hextal coming. Eh? <laughs> Hextal and Hammond, yes. And, I mean, and that uh, you're the My mother of... Hextal, my father Hammond. Okay. And you're the nephew of? Barry Salmon, Neville Hammond. Holden <laughs> 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 the, the bloodline, the family line, singing. So you, you, you're, you're forced to be a star, you would say. Boy, yeah. music chose I. You didn't, you didn't choose music? No, and it's, and it's like if I didn't do it, I, I think it would have been a crime in the family. Yeah. If I never do it, but it, it's just a natural choice, you know. It, it, as I said, it chose I. Uh -huh. My favorite, Len Harman, is mix up mode. Well, one of my favorite too. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah man. The hype is, nah, 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 nah. but you know, big tune, always loving it. Bless it. You man. know, um, how did you start out? What age did you start out? Because you, you come from a, a family line where you, you look like you would have been pressured to do music, and music is the only way. You cannot be a mechanic and <laughs> don't even think about being a pilot, sir. And you have um, to be doing music. I mean, it, it, as I said, it, it wasn't forced, mm -hmm. but highly expected because, mm -hmm. you know, when, to whom much is given, much is required. Mm -hmm. You know, and a blessing you don't really want to play around with, just as blessing when you're blessed with it. Um, but, you know, I mean, my father is a musician, he's a singer, you know, Boya Haman, mm -hmm. um, Barry Saman, you know, everybody knows Barry Saman. Mm -hmm. And, you know, other people around, you know, I got the name Len mm -hmm. from a famous musician, Lenny Hibbert. He, he was my father's best friend and music and uh, business partner at the time. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, there's been around people like Jackie Matou and, you know, artists like Sanchez, you know, just, you know, just, uh, just some good people just growing up, you know, you, 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 it's like an evolution towards it. And, uh, you know, some, some entertainer where, where their, their father is, is, is a singer, and, and, and they come out to play instrument or, 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 or be an engineer. Did you differ from that too? To <laughs> <laughs> or, 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 or DJ? You know some, you know some DJ sometimes. Ah. Yeah, man. <laughs> my funniest thing, my, 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 you know, come from my roots heavy with that dancehall DJing mm -hmm. and singing. My first recording was a dancehall rhythm. So, you know, a DJing is a, is, is a, is a, is a heavy, heavy influence. But um, the singing just came natural and you know, just, I realized from, from, from an early age in primary school and secondary school or high school, as, you were, as we were talking off camera earlier, when I'm Big G, mm -hmm. you know, so it's just, you know, it's just a natural, a natural choice, a natural evolution. You had, did you have um, some, some albums in the past? Yes, I have um, Len Hammond, which, I, which is a Juno Award recording. Mm -hmm. Junior Award winning recording. Junior Award yeah. winning recording. Yeah. Um, uh, Raw Soul album after that. And there's some, you know, other releases on various other projects. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm looking forward to putting out another album in 2018. Are you, um, are you, are you a signed artist now or are you just doing it independently? Independent. Independent. There are some people who would love for me to sign with their companies. And, we are in talks, but um, you know, just doing it independently. And right now, given how the, 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 the music business is set up, you know, it, mm -hmm. it's, it's good to have some independence, mm -hmm. you know, and you know, work it, work it until you, know, you find a good partnership or a good association that works for everybody. Tell me, tell me some stuff about the, the do's and the don'ts when signing a contract. 
for a, a singer in, in, in of, of your caliber? Boy. <laughs> you know, because you know, some, some people said this is a good contract, that is not a good contract. What artists uh, artists is supposed to look for in, in, in a good contract and a bad contract and want to preserve some of that independence? Well, you know, be, 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 be original as possible and secure your share, you know. Make sure your, your share is secured in the contract. Um, the singer for a song called Kung Fu Fighting, mm -hmm. that I met him years ago, and he said, youth, still always watch out for the term perpetuity. Perpetuity. Yeah, because perpetuity means for life. Mm -hmm. You know, so when people, when you're talking music, our business and you see the term perpetuity, always read what comes after or before th that word, you know? Mm -hmm. So things like that, you know, just make sure you're secure. Jackie Mitu told me once also that I don't have to sing a hit. I don't, have to, I don't even have to write it. I don't have to play it. As long as I'm part of a hit, just make sure that it is documented. Mm -hmm. You know, because when it's documented, that way you can get paid. <laughs> if it's not documented, it's hard to forget paid. So, you know, just, just secure your own Get a lawyer if you have a contract. Get somebody who can read it, get a good lawyer. Mm -hmm. And you know, just secure your rights. As a singer as a, and a songwriter that, that have so many hits, you know, um, when writing a song, could you feel the hit from the first vocal you put out? Because everybody said, I, this, this is my favorite song, this is my favorite song as a singer. Because you're writing the song, so you have to love it. But at the end of it, when you finish pen it or you finish meds it, can you just tell, say, this is going to be a hit? Sometimes. Sometimes. Because a song like Mixed Up Moves, I didn't write that. But when I heard the original, I called the disc jack <coughs> and said, play it back again. And he asked me, you going to do it over? And I said, yeah, man, just play it again. I'll do it over. And when he heard it, <laughs> when he heard it, you know, in, in Jamaica playing on the radio and IRFM, mm -hmm. and, and he, we, we finally met, that was a moment because, you know, we, you, you hear something that you know you can manage and handle, mm -hmm. and even when we're doing it in the studio and playing back the songs, you know, on the album, there were a lot of good songs on the Lenaman album, and, but everybody just seemed to be taken with this one mixed up moods. And um, the, the notation, the same falsetto, Mm -hmm. You know, after that, I learned says I'm, it's my money notes and <laughs> some other things. <laughs> yeah, but it's something you feel. It even take you for life. Mm -hmm. You know, the day when I was, you know, getting the vibe for it. You know, outside when it fall time, mm -hmm. and um, it was just trying to be real with the song and you know, what 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 what, what a man would say to a woman. That you know, just keep it simple, rude boy love song. And when the lyrics came. I'm like, yes, this is something that I think a woman would move to, you know, and if, I, if it moves a woman, it will move a man. Yeah. <laughs> For real. Did you get a transformation shock when you move from wax, as we like our record, to digital world? Yeah, man, my pocket feel it. <laughs> <laughs> my pocket feel it. Because you could, you, you could put out some 45 and... Mm -hmm. You know you're gonna make back your money and make a little profit. You know, even though the distributor a lot of times would eat more of the profit. Mm -hmm. You know, but at least you know if you spend ten dollars, you could calculate your way and know that your first couple of shipments would, you know, or your first shipment can pay for your your production cost and your labor cost and all of that. And but with the invent of digital music, just top sell. You know, it, and then it did it did it, great. It, it create a the it. Something that was valued at, like, say, let's say, five dollars US, mm -hmm. is now ninety nine cents. Mm -hmm. But cars is more is more expensive to produce in a lot of ways mm -hmm. because you still have to get the proper musicians, even though it's digital yes. platform we're working on, we're, we're you know Pro Tools and other mm -hmm. uh, processing like that. Yes. But the musicians are expensive. Studio time has gone up. Marketing is now a different thing, so you find that the music it's just theme, theme music for the brand. So it takes on, you know, you have to be looking outside of sales to make music from the music, to make money from the music. music. Yeah. Did you have to change members of the team or, you, or they did transform from analog to digital 
too. Because you know, like, like <laughs> I'm a chain member of the distributors team, and, and, and producers or so, you yeah, know. Yeah, because it, it, it gets different. No, you can't have a number one song that hasn't sold anything. It just went viral. Just gone viral. There's not one sale for that song. It's not it's not officially available to be bought. But you sell it's number one. And I'm sure we you know, yes. we, we see many, many songs like that. Yes, this yes, jacks. Yes. You know? Sometimes when things go viral, I wish, oh, I wish I had an ISRC code and that because that would get you easier. But now it's just to get that viral hit, you know, just get something going. Because it, it's set up now we're marketing, as I said, just. Do you, do you put that code on every song that you release or you just do like some of the artists? Because there's a lot of artists out there that no, just no, release no. a song and it go viral, as you say, and no money. N made. Not all the songs that I get to, I, I get a chance to put the codes on. You know, some of the songs are not mine, but um, what are mine, I make it a duty to put codes on it. If it's not on it yet, it's gonna go on it because you know we want to track it and get a little much that we can get. You know, that's why we have to secure the publishing and just to make sure that the product is good and of high quality that it can go viral and go into good people household. You know. Viewers on the outside, yeah, we are here sitting talking to Len Hammond himself. Just in case you never, you know, um, who is Len Hammond? In look, the appearance look a little bit different. So I am gonna go ahead and give him this microphone for him to identify himself to you guys. Len Hammond. <laughs> yes, sir. There's a light. Certain kind of light never shone on me. I want my life to be live with you, live with you. There's a way that everybody says to do each and every little. What good does it bring if I ain't got you? Ain't got you, baby. You don't know what it's like, baby. You don't know what it's like to love somebody. Why? That voice, eh? Viewers on the outside, in case you never know, see him identify himself, Len Aman himself, passing through the GVU TV building, and I, I would have, I would have done if me not tell us, say, you have to give me one more. Yeah, man. You can't just say any, anything about this. You have to watch your words. Yeah. Because, exactly, you know? Sometimes we say some things and we never realize how impactful they can be. So watch it. Watch what you're saying. Watch what you're saying. Might not be okay. The words from your mouth are just freedom of speech allowed if thoughts were allowed brad would say don't be so proud what you can say are the words the big man will pay to lead us astray divide and rule every day watch what you're saying nothing's not okay babylon not playing then the fruit be dust you out The poor of the rich man Watch what you're saying Nothing's not okay Babylon not playing Then the fruit be dust you out The poor is a bitch man And now the Bible has proved Cause the Quran wants respect to Who is it a point of view But I want Ooh. 
GView TV forward. Len Hammond passing through the building and turn up the fire in here. Len Hammond, the voice that we are, boy, I mean, I tell you. And it, it, it's so hard right now. One time you could have just walked in a, um, in a, in a record shop and, and just purchase a record and, and Ray. It, it, it's so hard to get music right now and it's so easy because, as I say, you have some song like this, you know, you'd have to, you'd have to put it out on what they call it, Spotify and yeah. iTunes and, and these things. All the streaming platforms, you know, I'm on most stream. of those platforms, you know. Mm -hmm. So, you know, if you're not on any of those platforms right now, because streaming is where the money is at. Mm -hmm. So you have to get the thing up on those platforms, you know. And, and, and people are actually going now for, for the visual. Yes. People want to see video. People are watching radio. Yes. People <laughs> <laughs> yeah, people are watching radio now, watching <laughs> music now, you know, over listening just, you know, so you have to be a little bit mm -hmm. different and, you know, come, you know, be innovative, mm -hmm. you know. And, that's why I went with Take You For Life, the video, mm -hmm. and try and do a cute little video for it yes. to make, you know, something that the ladies will like. And the, and the brethren them will say, yeah, man, would I do that for a lady? So, you know, it, it, it's audiovisual. Audiovisual. Ladies and gentlemen, um, Len Hammond is here to do the, 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 the big release of his music video, Take You For Life. And he's here to do the world premiere on GView TV. I want you to hype it up more than how I hype it up. So I'm going to give you that chance for you to actually do it the way Len Hammond way. Well, what you know? No, you know, this song is just, <laughs> I call it a rude boy love song. And fellas, fellas, play this song for the ladies. And trust me, she will look to you and say, yeah, you just score some points. Tell her you want to take her for life. Check out the video starring Len Hammond. Warrior Love Band and the beautiful Tanya Teresa, you know, directed by Dark Media. Check it out, please. Can be bought also on iTunes. Check it out. Here's an exclusive G View World Premiere on GViewTV.com. Oh, yeah. Mother Tech you for life. of your time Miss sweeter than Christmas Eve but sweeter than Valentine's My dad no bag of lyrics but what it is me up you make you know Would I take you for life Don't keep you clear over one night stands Would I take you for life Na 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 Take you for life, life, life Oh I swear under the sun, yes. And where could our lovely viewers get f f a whole other song there? All over the internet. You can, you can be purchased on iTunes and Spotify. Everywhere good music sell. Um, Lenaman can be found also on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, uh, all the good music platforms, you know, SoundCloud, Reverb Nation, Spotify. Anywhere you find good music. Please check it out. Please go on Reggaeville and check out the video. Please go on GV TV and check out the video. Yes, and, and check it out on the Len Hammond booking also. This is a production of? Joe Fraser production. Joe Fraser. Yeah, the, the late, great Light Camp himself. He mm -hmm. called me personally and said, Len, I want a song from you. And I'm like, all right, sir. And he's like, no more than a nice lover's rock song. I don't want no culture song. I want a lover's rock song. And I'm like, all right, if you say it. I'm going right there, Lover's Rock song, Big Man thing. And when I sent it to him, he's like, yes, this is what I've been looking for. So, Take big for respect and to the family, you know. I respect again to the late great Light Camden from Joe Fraser Records, you know. For real. Big up yourself. Thank you for passing through on GV TV. Man. Thank you, man. I tell the people, them, say, hey, I forgot to use this as my ringtone. <laughs> please. <Bad. laughs> please, please, please. I forgot to use this as my ringtone. Len Hammond, bad song. Take you for life. Viewers, we're going to take a commercial break. We're going to pay some bills. And when we come back, we're going to talk more.